This is one of hundreds and hundreds of uh, wake up calls that we should be paying attention to. It's almost fall season in Calgary, but if you look around, leaves, trees, bushes, everything is still green. Should we be worried? Delayed uh, changing of colors that we can see in the fall when there's been a, a warm summer is absolutely consistent with, with what we expect. And as, you know, as climate change results in, in the higher temperatures in the summer, it would make sense that we'd start to see, see shifts in, uh, in, in leaf change to a little bit later in the fall. But that said, there's a lot of other factors that modify it. So things like precipitation, how much rain there is over the summer can also change it. And so they found in some places where pollution levels decreased and solar radiation increased, they found that that would also change the, the tree's uh, timing of, of when it changes colors. Similar to the effect on leaves, a warm and extended summer can increase the population of wasps. In Calgary, wasps are a common insect that can be dangerous because of their stinging habits and venom. There are 13 species of yellow jackets and paper wasps, that make bigger colonies in Alberta. Only three of these continue building their colonies past September. If we are having longer falls, warmer falls, um, that plays into bigger populations, which means they can produce more queens that will hibernate. And if it stays warmer in the winter and drier as well, it means there'll be less sort of fungi that will kill those hibernating queens. So that's why we could start to see if climate change continues as what we're seeing, that could lead to higher populations, yes. Biological experts like Dr. Yemen say these changing patterns are one of the various factors that scientists are noticing as part of climate change. Calgary's got very erratic weather already relative to many places in Canada. And so, you know, I think, uh, yeah, people are generally expecting weather to be changing a little more erratically. As I don't think this is a a severe one that's going to affect livelihoods in a big way, but it's it's one of many signs that we can see our world is changing. In Calgary, Hannah Said, City News.